Grade 8 Social Studies Topic 1 Man the Social Being We are going to begin with learning about the past as our subtitle. The study of the past is known as history. People live in the present and plan for the future. One may therefore wonder if it is important for us to bother ourselves with learning about the past or the things that have already taken place. The fact is that history is very useful. Do you know the origin of your tribe? What about the past experiences of your country? This therefore calls us to study about the past so that we may understand Let's go ahead and begin to talk about reasons for learning about the past. Below are some of the reasons why we learn about the past. Number one, it helps us understand the present. The way a particular group of people or a society behaves depends on their past. History gives us a lot of information about how people behaved in the past and how societies were formed. For example, in order to understand why there is war in any country, we have to look at the past and see what reasons led to that war. A wise saying goes, those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. This is why we cannot stay away from our past. Number two, it helps us in projecting the future. It helps us in projecting the future. The future builds on the present while the present builds on the past. This means that it is very possible to predict the future using the knowledge about the past. The historical information about the trends in both the humanity and the environment gives clues on the change to expect in the future. Number three, history provides identity. History provides identity. History gives evidence about how families, groups of people, institutions, communities, and countries were formed and how they have developed. It is thus, it thus provides identity since a particular group of people can identify with a particular family, community, or country. History that tells the nation experiences is meant to help citizens understand national value and a commitment to national loyalty. Number four, it helps us to emulate good morals. It helps us to emulate good morals. Reading about the stories of prominent individuals who upheld good morals, such as Kenneth Kaunda, the first president of Zambia, helps us to learn and practice the moral values that such people practiced. Learning about the great men and women of history who successfully worked through moral dilemmas include ordinary people who provide lessons in courage, diligence, or constructive protest can provide inspiration. Number five, history is useful in the world of work. History is useful in the world of work. Some professions such as being an archaeologist or a historian requires knowledge about the past. Number six, it helps us understand people and societies. It helps us understand people and societies. Learning about the past helps us to understand why a group of people, for example, a tribe, 
behaves the way they do. It also explains why societies have certain beliefs. When people from different cultural backgrounds understand each other's cultural backgrounds, they are able to understand the differences between them and thus they are able to live in harmony.